Hey guys. So today I thought I would put together a thrift haul slash try on vid. Um, I've got some really nice pieces that I got when I was at the thrift over the past few weeks. Hopefully you guys will like them or see the potential the potential that I see in them. Yeah, so let's get started. So I found this true vintage sort of like I don't know I feel like collegey half zip or like three quarters of it goes down but the two-tone like brown and orange is really cool I know it's not fall anymore but this would be so perfect for a fall slash Halloween pumpkin look I don't know like go to pumpkin patch in this or something yeah and it has the o-ring zipper this was cool another cute vintage piece was this tartan vest super lightweight it's by fine line this could be a really nice piece to layer under like a really lightweight long sleeve underneath and just some nice jeans it could be a nice just casual little touch to make a fit just go the extra mile yeah oh my gosh okay this one is so good i've been loving finding vintage slip dresses and little nighties, but this one is so nice. It's still new with the tags from, I don't even know what year, wait, let's see. Yeah, I don't know, it doesn't say, but look at this. It's so cute and adorable with like the little tiny rose and look at the roses. They're so delicate and the lace is so nice. And this is really cool for like a baby doll look. I'm trying to picture what I would wear it with. I wish I had some white platform Mary Janes. That's definitely what I would pair this with. Maybe white fishnets, but maybe not. It might be too much. Just maybe some white stockings or white tights. And you could even layer underneath this like a white mesh long sleeve or a white mesh turtleneck top. Like that's what I'm seeing. Or it could even be like a baby pink. Baby pink might actually be better because the white would blend in. But yeah, this one's super cute. I can't wait to pull a look at this one. Okay. So this next top I am absolutely in love with. It is this late 90s sort of goth vampy top by Vizio. Hope you guys can see. Made in USA and it's got like this really nice kind of scalloped neckline and this kind of corset bustier like lacing down the front. So it can adjust to you. And it has like this sheer mesh underneath that. And the flowy sleeves are so gorgeous. You'll see in the try and portion, it's, they're just so beautiful on. These are the, like the pieces I love finding because they're so unique and rare and they don't make shirts like this anymore. So I forgot about this baby tee. This one's just super cute and simple. Just a nice Heather Gray baby tee with a little black velvet butterfly it kind of looks like like those typical tattoo butterflies like the ones that you stick here or wherever you stick butterfly tattoos um but yeah it's super nice size tag is cut off but kind of fits like medium and yeah crop it leave it how it is can't go wrong i cannot believe i found this i mean maybe i can but it's just this really cool um old school trip nyc skirt it's kind of like a tutu like a goth tutu <laughs> i don't know but it has these i don't even know what fabric this is but it's got a white layer and a black layer under uh, on top and just this like silver grommet studs or grommets just around the waist i wish it fit me it's a little loose but i can still pull a look with it i'll just like hold it back or pin it back so I found this and I've been loving this style and I'm so happy it's like coming back into style. It's just this uh, cinched, super simple cinched yet sexy uh, cami and it's got like this sheer black layering on the front and then a solid layer underneath. It's by, I don't even know what that says, I, I think maybe it's oat, I'm not sure, but I love the old tags on these on these tops but yeah it's so it's so flattering on because it has like the ruffles going down here 
and I just love it. I hope you guys can see the ruffles or what I'm talking about because I know it's dark, but I think this would go super well with the texture of the skirt. So that's definitely a good fit. And then, okay. So in the thrift, I was, when was it? I think it was on Saturday. So I was at the thrift and I was about done. I went through most of the aisles, but I didn't go through the men's jeans or the men's pants. And I was like, I was about to leave and I had my, my bags, I was ready to go check out. And I said, you know what, Emma? You know, just go take a look at the men's jeans. You have to, I know you're tired, but you know, you just have to, because what if there's like a pair of Jinkos in there and you'll miss them? So I was like, okay. So I went to the men's jeans section I didn't find a pair of Jinkos, but you guys, I found the most amazing pair of 90s rave pants. Okay, I have a thing for like 90s rave culture and just all the clothing that went along with it. Okay, so check these out. Oh my god. Look at the pockets. Okay, so these are by Altered Mind. Look at these pockets. They have like <laughs> corset lacing down the side and they're th these big like arches. Okay, so it's by, these pants are by Altered Mind and I'm guessing they're from late 90s or very early 2000s, but I'm guessing late 90s. They're in amazing condition. Look at the back patch here. And it's just this black and blue contrast stitching all the way around super wide leg like this has to be like a 12 or 14 inches wide but they're amazing and i couldn't believe it so i was in the men's section right and i was looking through the jeans no jeans they're all like nothing good and then i looked down towards where the, the khakis are or something and just sitting there on the hanger looking right at me kind of spaced out were these and i was like oh my god so moral of the story even when you're tired or, you know, want to go home, but you know there's something you should look at or a section that you miss, go look at that section because you will, you never know what you'll find, okay? Okay, also, lucky for me, I found two Kangol hats. They're the fuzzy ones. I got black, you see, little Kangol. And then I got this kind of dusty blue with the white logo. You guys, they're new. Your new attacks. And I don't have any Kangol hats, so I was so hyped to find these. So hopefully I could pull some cute looks with them. These are these would be you see, that's the thing that makes a look. Like sometimes you have the perfect look, you got the shoes, you got the pants, you got the top, or whatever you got going on. But like you need something more, and that's when hats come in. And bucket hats are so good for that. So these I'm excited for. Look at this chain belt. I hope you guys can see. It's got these cute butterflies with rhinestones. It's super adjustable, but I think this would be cool. You know, you know if you're wearing like a super crop top and low rise pants and then like, you know how people have been wearing belly chains? I feel like you could wear this. It's like a vintage belly chain because it wouldn't, it doesn't quite have the strength to hold up pants. So it would just be for, you know, looks. But this is so cool, so cute. And it's not missing any rhinestones either, which is, which is really nice. So I found my third Kuji at the thrift this past week. It's a Kuji vest, classic, pure wool made in Australia. Here's the tag. And um, if you guys don't know, Kuji is was made famous slash super popular by Biggie. He used to wear these Kuji sweaters all the time um, when he was performing, just he loved them. So now everyone else loves them. I also found this vintage orange oversized knit sweater by Tony Lambert and this with the vest layered on top, it looks so good. You see, it doesn't look weird or anything because they're both the same like size baggy, you know? Okay, I also found this 
vintage. I mean, it's definitely late 90s or early 2000s Carl Kanai tee. It's got like this big credit card graphic on front. This one has like a few paint marks on the sleeve, but that's okay. It adds to its character, you know. This piece, I was so excited to find. Look at it, it's this vintage denim Sherpa jacket by WearGuard. It's a size, what is it? Size large, and it's so cozy all over. It's just got a few white like paint marks, and I know it's oversized, but I kind of like that look, you know? Because you can layer like two hoodies under this, like a zip up hoodie and underneath like long sleeve and then like a tank on top or something. You can pull so many looks with this. Okay, this I was really excited to find. It is this definitely early 2000s based on the tag and it's like super glossy writing, but it's this guest jeans, black denim jacket and on the back it, or all over it has these funny words written like sexy what does it say sexy guess i'm thinking of you babe dreaming glamour it's just so so 2000s love this one baby tees okay i found a few super cute ones okay we'll start with this one this one i just thought was so cute and pure it's just this little american girl baby tee with Look at the, the embroidery on front, so cute. And the American Girl tag. Look at this. Little Bambi tee. And I don't remember the rabbit's name, or if it had a name, but it says celebrate every day, which is so cute. And it's so true because we should celebrate every day and be grateful and give thanks and give gratitude for what we have. Wake up every day. Every day when you wake up in the morning, that's how you should start your day. With thoughts of gratitude and just say thank you for letting me wake up. Thank you for letting me live another day. And then it'll set your mood for the day. It'll set your tone. Sorry for the tangent, but it's true. Third baby tea. Oh, this one's so good. So this is hot pink. Kim Possible one from the early 2000s. And Lucas got Ron and Rufus. She can do anything. Hell yes, girl, she can. <laughs> but she can't do anything. So this one was also cute. What else? Oh, oh my gosh. And this one, okay, you guys, I, I think Brandy has like teas that are super popular right now that just look, that look just like this. I don't know what the name of the tea is, but I found it, I was like, oh my God. And I know Brandy takes design inspo from, you know, vintage pieces and stuff and like every other, brand but it was super cool finding the OG one um, it's by Max Rave this one I am so excited for so I love 2000s hip-hop brands even 90s hip-hop brands I find that all the clothes that come, came from them are just iconic and I love how they fit I love the look I love the logos I love the colors so okay I found this rock aware this velour rock aware zip up it's cropped it's a size small but it kind of fits like an extra small and look at the back look at this logo the huge rockwear embroidery got the embroidery on the front and look at this the little logo zipper just everything about this i love and i know that somewhere the pants exist to this so if anyone has the matching pants let me know yeah i think that's it Okay, I'm filming this on my phone because apparently photo booth formats don't convert or aren't supported by Adobe Premiere, which is really annoying. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and had fun watching. If you guys liked any of the pieces that you saw, I'm going to be putting them, or most of them, on my Depop. It's at Emma Rogue. I'm going to link it in the description below if you want to peep. Uh, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching if you stayed all the way. And I'll see you soon. Okay, bye.
I wish I was a little bit taller I wish I was a baller I wish I had a girl 